at your ass. I want to mail you a spoon. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am, I can't eat shit out of my fucking ass. Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls. Eat it. Fucking eat it. Drink him up. Drink him up. Basis fills a racist, fills a sexist, fills this, fills that. I am who I am. I am fucking based. Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball. Eat it. Mirkhead Mall. Fucking eat it. Mirkhead Mall. Oh, he's doing the mean. Oh, he's Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I am fucking based. Oh, 
Suck a dog off. Baller alert. Calling out baller alert. Got no problems with baller alert. All right, last one, and we got to go. We got to go. We got a tight schedule today. I know. I, I love pizza. I'm Italian. I'm disappointed that since I moved out here to the West Coast, there is not real authentic East Coast Italian-style pizza out here. Would you like to have a pizza party with me? No. Pizza pie. Mega the pizza pie. Greasy shit. Pizza pie. Felipe. Pizza pie. Cheese. Pizza pie. Lucio pizza pie. Weird sauce. Pizza pie. Crazy meat. Pizza stop, pie. Stop, stop, Mamma mia. Mega the pizza pie. Pizza pie. Felipe. Pizza pie. Turn on the oven. Mozzarella. And delicious. Second and third of them. Wrong it out. Toss in the air. Pizza pie. Mega the pizza pie. Pizza pie. Felipe. Pizza pie. Pizza pie, Lucio pizza pie, pizza pie, pizza pie. The chat on the ovens, Salvano cheese, Salvano greasy shit, crazy meat, weird sauce. The sauce has these big chunks of tomato that are very well seasoned that are really good. Turn on the ovens and burn all the pizzas. Mamma mia, make it a pizza pie, pizza pie, Felipe. Pizza pie. Turn on the ovens. Mozzarella. And delicious. Take it a dog on them. Roll it out. Toss in the air. Pizza oh, pie. We got a Make pizza it a pizza pie. pie. Greasy shit. Pizza pie. Felipe. Pizza pie. Weird sauce. Pizza pie. Lucio. Pizza pie. Pizza pie. Pizza pie. Mamma mia. Make it a pizza pie. Pizza pie. Felipe. Pizza pie. Turn on the oven. Mozzarella. And delicious. Second and third of them. Roll it out. Like toss in the air. Pizza pie. Make it a pizza pie. Greasy shit. Pizza pie. Felipe. Pizza pie. Cheese. Pizza pie. Delicious. Pizza pie. Weird sauce. Pizza pie. Crazy meat. Pizza pie. Turn on the oven. Chocolate star Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Swaycast 2022. 20, 22, hey, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Today is a big, big day. Uh, because, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm streaming. <laughs> so, anyways, it's a big day because today we have the second... Well, well, it is annual now. The second annual King of the Ring song competition over on the That Being Said channel. That was our first ever um competition that we did uh pretty much exactly a year ago or something like that and yeah we're doing another What's one the point of asking for feedback he obviously isn't going to make any changes and if he does it won't be until 2034 and then he'll be streaming from a tent asking where are you well you I, asked for this that's right I, I guess there's a couple of angles to this uh first it's all the performative angle because he needs to pretend that he's running a business and businesses ask for feedback from their customers. And also there's the angle of him, you know, um, wanting to show that he knows better than everybody else because he's been doing this for like a million years. So obviously he wants to, to like be challenged on that, I guess, if you would think it like that, even though it's not really a challenge. Anyways. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We're going to review, I guess, two clips from yesterday, which I, th I think one of them is great. So this one is called DSP Explosive Meltdown on Viewers uh, because of the cat co-op because uh, somebody said it was boring. Then uh, we got this one from Hate Army of uh, an unrecorded uh, late night pre-stream. And if you know something about the late night streams, man, they're miserable. And uh, how do I know? Well, I keep track of uh, what's going on. Ten dollars from Too Keen to give a what? There he goes. I did a video edit of Predator with Sarak's lowlights on my channel. This stream is perfect as I'm stuck home during a Blizzard-style snowstorm Colorado life. Hey, big ups, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I think you might have sent me your video, but I didn't really get time to uh, go through Instagram and, and see it. Because I've been a little bit uh, occupied, you guys. Because I got a new girlfriend. I got a new soulmate. And you might ask, what happened with the last one? What happened with the Japanese soulmate? Well, because of work-related stuff, we have to live in separate countries now. And 
you know, it's just not really working out like that. So we're just very good friends now and we just moved on. Anyways, uh, that's why I haven't been around that much because uh, I've been uh, giving my attention somewhere else. Um, and yeah, let's let's just get to business, man. Let's uh, let's get into it. You know, uh, after this stream, you're going to be forwarded to the King page and we're going to start. We're going to go through as much as uh, possible today. I think we're going to manage to cover all the songs. But let's get into this one. I'm very curious about this clip. This is him taking feedback and somebody left him feedback for uh, the streams with Cat. All good, homie. Happy for you. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. Take care in that in that blizzard style weather, man. Being honest, he says, please lower the amount of ads. Nope. I definitely think you should be running ads, but I'll listen to the podcast for an hour and I get six ads in that period of time. Oh yeah, this is uh so so this is also a new thing. Apparently he he boosted up the frequency of the ads. So now it's on basically you might even call it aggressive ads. Cause people getting ads like every 10 minutes. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I'm getting to a point where I just watch on demand because of excessive ads and certain chatters trying to get your attention. Yeah. Now, to address this, I first of all I can't like, actually... and I and I know this is happening because sometimes when I watch something on YouTube, an ad attempts to play, and then the ad block basically, you know, makes it not play. Uh, so I've seen this happen when I'm watching him live on his own page, and an ad attempts to play almost like every ten minutes. It's it's super obnoxious. You see the frequency of ads, and that's a problem. I wish I wish I could. YouTube keeps changing the process. And this is YouTube's fault, and I apologize for it, because I want to be in control of my streams, and I can't be. So, YouTube being so fucking stupid, for example, what used to happen is every time YouTube would run an ad, there would actually be a pop-up in the bottom left-hand corner of my stream dashboard, and it would say, an ad is about to run, click here to skip. And there used to be significant amounts of times I would see that, and I would say, oh, I'm going to skip that ad because I'm in the middle of something important on my podcast. Or there's a cutscene, an important one going on in the game. Well, uh, the thing is that he does have multiple settings for ads. Now, I don't know what is going on because I don't play ads on, on the streams. But from what he has told everybody, and I guess if you look it up on the internet, you're going to figure it out pretty quickly, is that you got several levels of of ad frequency. I guess one of them is, is the more, more conservative ones, and one of them is more like generous, as in more frequent. So yes, he does actually have um, the ability to tweak that and to change it. And so it, it only happens like half the time now. And I don't understand if that's a change that was intended or not, if they screwed it up, because it was gone for like a month. Then it came back. Now I'm seeing it sporadically. Like literally this entire morning on the podcast, I haven't seen a single thing that said stop an ad from playing. You liar, you. I'm good at lying. <laughs> okay, so... From my understanding, all right, how it's supposed to work, okay, is that at most, you're only supposed to get an ad every 15 minutes. At most. Yeah, that that's a lot. That's like on TV. YouTube like, come on. is not supposed to hit you with more than a, an, one ad per 15 minutes, okay? So if you're actually seeing more than that, YouTube, I think, is screwing up. It's YouTube's fault. So YouTube, oh wow, it's it's crazy that YouTube is screwing up in a way that specifically benefits him, and he doesn't seem to have a problem with it, even though it it clearly hurts the viewer experience because the viewers are complaining about their experience. I guess the question hmm. is, what is really going on with YouTube? Okay, because I really don't know. I, I I wish I could control it. Like I said, if I saw excessive ads popping up, I would literally click, click and cancel them, and now that that feature is removed. So I don't know. I can't even tell when you guys are seeing an ad at this point. Well, I mean, like, can he run it manually? I guess you just, uh, if it's like on Twitch, because I know on Twitch you can play an ad. And I know on, on YouTube he's been talking about playing ads. So he can play an ad manually. If he cared so much about the pacing of the ads and the placement, he would just do it manually. Um... It just seems to be like a necessary... Because what, I, what I'm thinking is he set it on the highest frequency and then it started just playing very frequently because, well, what do you expect is going to happen? And then he just gets surprised, you know, fake surprised. Now that YouTube is screwing this stuff up and I have to deal with it and you have to watch them, 
Here's the thing. How regarded do you have to be to blame YouTube and Dents for the amount of ads on a channel that up until a few months ago had zero ads and shamed any other channel using ads as shills and shamefully getting the bag? I want to see their ox ads but FR, 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 FR. You know, the, the whole narrative is that it was your idea for him to play the ads. Like, you asked for ads. This is what he tried to convince you for, like, actual months. For months, he tried to convince you. Oh, so you guys want ads, huh? Oh, I guess, I guess you guys don't mind having ads. Thing. Number one. Like, everything that he does that happens to benefit him, somehow you wanted it. Even though it's not in your best interest. And sometimes, objectively, even when it comes to ads, objectively, it hurts your experience. I never ran those ads ever for years, correct? And then you guys said, no, we want to help support you, especially with these issues going on. Um, Please run ads. So I started running them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, look guys, at this. Hold on. <laughs> you guys said, please run ads. Said, no, we want to help support you, especially with these <laughs> issues going on. Um, please run ads. That That's what you guys said. Do you remember saying this? I don't remember saying this. Please, Phil, run ads. I want to watch commercials. So I started running. You know what I <laughs> This guy is like, he, he's going to develop like schizophrenia at some point. Like unironic schizophrenia. God damn it. Big Up's uh, tricky for 15 months. And let me see if I didn't miss somebody else. Uh, Francisco for 16 he says, uh, you still haven't told me where I'm coping. Well, we're coping right here on the Swaycast. It's uh, it's cope day because the guy is gone. And Big Up's to Snoo Kerman for the membership, dude. I'm saying, uh, there's just fans to do that. It never happened. It's, it's not what happened at all. And now you guys are saying, well, there's too many ads. Well, it's like... <laughs> You well, guys asked for too many ads. Channel. Already I'm hurting. You have to understand something. I'm hurting bad right now. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. Didn't it happen like two days ago when, when I last restreamed this podcast? He said that he doesn't have financial difficulties. And it, it literally said the word financial difficulties, financial problems does not apply to him. It, it was something else instead. It was like financial, um, I don't know. A downfall or some shit. I don't, I don't fucking talk know. I about it that often. <laughs> but because those gifted memberships screwed the whole channel up. Oh, I he doesn't talk about that. it that often, you so guys. Talking, I lost a ton of revenue that I'm not regaining. And the fact that we're right now we're in RPG stagnation mode is just making things worse. <laughs> what, what, what is this phrase? We're in RPG stagnation mode. You know, it would be great. <laughs> Is this like a, is this a feature in your car or something where you just press it? Great, right, if I could see a resurgence. With just Battle press the Rome, stagnation button. Ronin, and maybe with another game by the end of the month, but there's no guarantees that's going to happen. If I stay at the level I'm at right now, I'm already bleeding and in pain. Oh, oh no, somebody got to finish him off then. Come on. And it's like, well, now you guys are annoyed by ads. <laughs> so now just punch the wound some more. It ain't going to make things better. You know what? Oh my God, look at this. Now it's your fault for complaining. You're just supposed to take it and not complain about anything. Like, I mean, why? Would he, would he encourage this type of behavior in society? Where like you just shut up and, and, and suck it up and stop crying about stuff that bothers you. I'm saying it's just going to make things even worse. So, I understand what you're saying, Tub Tubs. I wish I could control it. Yes, you can. Trust me, if I could manually stop certain ads, I would, <laughs> but it seems like that doesn't even work properly anymore. I was $2 from Copsi Default. No sane person says they want to watch ads. You know what? The closest I can get to this is, uh, for example, I'm watching some, like, long podcast that I like. Let's say I'm watching, I don't know, uh, OSW, the old school wrestling review podcast, which is like a, they put in a shit ton of effort into that one. So sometimes I would just let it play on the TV and just automatically watch all the ads. And I'm not even watching the show, but, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, eh, I'm, I'm helping the guys out. You know, I'm watching their ads and stuff. So that's the closest I'm going to get to this. I'm not going to be asking anybody to, to watch ads or to play ads so I can watch them. If I wanted to help somebody out, I would just send them money. Today, I don't see the pop up at all. And yesterday I was seeing it. I don't I don't get it. YouTube is all screwed up. All right. Um, I don't even run ads on my late streams at all because I'm like, you're only here for two hours. You don't need to be bombarded with fucking ads. And the truth of the matter is, yeah, this is old. This is from back on Twitch. Look at this. A thousand bit top cheer. You don't make money on ads at all unless you have an insane amount of viewers. So maybe if I had like 10,000 viewers and I ran ads, I would make like, 
you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks or something per ad, but it's not worth it. Like, if for me to run ads right, if I ran ads right now, I've probably got a few hundred viewers right now, right? If I ran an ad right now, I'd probably make like a dollar. I'm not even kidding. It would be like one dollar. So why bother you guys with ads when I could just fucking put on a fun stream? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll. I'll forego the dollar so you guys can have a fun stream with me tonight and not have ads. Okay? Wow, look at the, the sacrifice. We're sacrificing the dollar. The holy dollar. The doc, maybe it's better. Maybe, you know, you make tons of money when you run them because he has so many people on his stream. So. so, it is what it is. Now, I could turn ads, like, way lower. But what I saw, if you go to the low, because there's three versions. If you go So, like, 30 seconds ago, he says, I wish I could fix it. And then he makes that whole, I wish I could fix it, about, like, closing an ad that's about to play. You see the fucking logic with this guy? Where he kind of, like, if he was smarter, he would probably be ruling the world, man. Because this dude is, is so fucking malicious with his logic and the way that he argues. Because it's all semantics. It's all, like, weaving some kind of a narrative without you noticing it. it it's all so deceptive and, and deflect, deflective. It's deflective now the low ads it only plays an ad at most like once every half an hour but when i was doing that i literally saw nothing i don't even know the dents did in fact say that they would take ads but said it if he were to stop begging warm puppy lower the amount of begs per stream did that how oh, was it was it it's like that increased as of late Baller alert five dollars from jvsau 989 the thing i hate the most isn't the snorting belching or the act laugh it is the way this goofy idiot uses buzzwords every other sentence. Yeah, buzzwords, man. I, I absolutely hate him. I hate the way he tries to make himself seem much smarter than he is by using words that you don't necessarily have to use or are regularly found in, you know, his, old, his own way of expressing himself. Uh, but yeah, I, I do remember, uh, well, the dents asking for ads in the same way that they ask for everything else is just DSP looking at chat is like, oh, so you guys are saying that you want ads? Well, yeah, okay, someone says yes. I, I guess I'm turning the ads on. It, it, it was kind of like that. Uh, also, shout out to Rodrigo because his super chat didn't play. He acts like his audience is a single person that changes their mind just to mess with him. Poor Phil. Uh, that's actually a really good point, Rodrigo, says Rodrigo. And I agree with him. Um, yeah, uh, the, if you don't get that joke, go watch the last TBS. Um, anyways, it's it's just it's just how he works, bro. I don't even know like how to explain the way that he looks at his fan base. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. He looks at him like actual video game characters in in like NPCs, where you should select this voice line, this speech dialogue option, and something should happen if that's worth it if it, you know if you use zero ads it's gonna hurt the channel you know what i mean what i would recommend again i gotta recommend this consider getting youtube premium oh my come on man come on what what come on i cannot believe this i cannot believe the the lack of self-awareness Oh my god. And of course, consider YouTube Premium Why? Not so you don't have any ads, but so he can get paid extra. God, god damn it, man. This guy sucks so bad. From I'm 41. Hey, big ups, man. Thank you for inspiring my latest DSP troll track. Much love, bro. Enjoy it. JIIQ underscore 405 AWs. C equals WWC Derm js 2 p 2 dm All right, all right. I got it. I got it. Uh, let me just uh, bookmark it here, and I'm going to come back to it after this video. All right? And... Huh? Uh, this is a 404, but I'll figure it out. But I, I want to give it a here. Especially today, because it's uh, it's Chiking Day. So, obviously. $2 from Copsai Default. Big words me smart no use. Yeah, for the most part, is like that. Sometimes he would use a, a big word and it would be like, it would be kind of funny so or. Went from low to medium ads and told no one. Uh, went to low from medium, told no one. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of the type of guy that if you don't notice something, he's gonna he's gonna push it more and more, you know, until you have a problem with it, and then you're gonna it, basically this, basically this. It encapsulates a lot of how he approaches everything. Norwegian Krona from J Dog. The latest wife segment was wild, bro. I'm uh, definitely gonna check it out right after this one. 
So yeah, this is this how he does it. It uh, things start out small and then it it kind of snowballs into something bigger, but he hopes that you're not going to notice. And then by the time you notice, it's consumed all his content. It's kind of like the vest streak. It was the same thing. It started off as this like organic thing. It's like, hey, you guys, I might just put on a vest today if I got $100. Then two weeks later, it's just everything is about the vest streak. Everything. Dollar alert. Two dollars from Redbird UJ76. I'm watching on premium. No ads for me are welcome. Um, You should have been watching on, on crack because that's free. Bleh. I watch all my stuff on Revance, or like I said, on the TV. But the TV, I watch only only people that I actually want to support. It is a great service. I don't watch like don't shitty ass clickbait videos. On YouTube. Everyone who runs ads gets the credit as if you watch the ad. There's tons of benefits to it. All right. We were just talking about it yesterday. YouTube Music is an app. You get all this music if you're a YouTube Premium subscriber. It's part of the package. You know, I would definitely recommend that. Yeah, oh. but. Wait, I, I don't think you get anything extra as part of the package on YouTube Music that you wouldn't get otherwise. You still get the, the same music everybody else does. It's not like you unlock an entirely new catalog. Then again, I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Yes, money, 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 money. Mere cat looking like a choice cut steak made to perfection. I am normally not a shill, but King of the Ring is gonna be hyped today. Looking forward to it. Big ups, boyfriends. Please talk about my wife, please. Hell yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, big ups, Lil Filbert, for the membership, dude. Very nice. Money, money. Now let us proceed. Okay, so here's the thing. Tub Tubs, thank you for the feedback. I don't want my user experience being hindered by tons of ads. At this point, I don't really know how to fix it. But uh, well, you reduce the ads, bro. Besides just turning off the ads. But if I did that, I'm going to need more support. And as you know, <laughs> I already asked for But no, you don't have to turn off the ads. Just turn them back to the, the place they were in the beginning. The conservative ads. Remember with like Tom McDonald, Ben Shapiro, all those kind of ads. All right. I don't think that sitting here asking for more support all day because I turned off the ads is really going to be a beneficial thing. So it's kind of a necessary evil right now. If YouTube fixes the problem so I can disable certain ads when they happen, when they're badly timed, I will do that. Yes, I, and now apparently YouTube has a problem. Of course, this is how it always works. They've disabled that, and it I It always know works why. like that. Okay. Um, it's cat's fault. Um, you should start trying to take an extra stream off a week for your own well-being, even if it's just twice a month during a slow period. I really think you should use extra free time. This is absolutely true, and... I know it's counterintuitive, but even when he's like really broke and he really needs money, that's when he should take extra streams off. Because you, you got to reduce the supply so you can create the demand. Because nowadays he's just there six days a week, all day. You kind of, uh, I don't know if that's the right phrasing, but you kind of taken him for granted. You know that the times that when he streams, you can just tune in and he's just going to be there. So there's not a feeling of you know feeling special or something that you're looking forward to he just kind of exists all the time number one i am doing that this month but i'm not doing it for a good reason i'm doing it because i have to do private patron videos and work on taxes and other business stuff i wish i could take off an extra day don't you think i would like to do that you know i don't like being here six days a week full time and not spending time with my family i have to be here to pay my bills you know, it's an, it's a, again, it's wishful thinking, turn off ads and take more time off. Okay. Tub tubs. But where does the money come from then? <laughs> well, the same way it, it always comes from, from the dents, you're just going to milk them in a different way. Cause I mean, he already begs if his idea is that when he turns on ads, he's not going to beg. It's clearly not working out. Cause he's still begging like a bitch. So I, I just don't get it, man. I don't get where the, the problem comes in. Uh, shout out to Ryan for 12 months, dude. Congrats on a year. Uh, who says, one year. Hope your family is well. Love from Ireland. Well, thank you. Uh, I hope uh, yours is good as well, man. Big ups. Show me the money. What happened? Right? And you have to understand, I, I don't work a salary job. A day that I don't work is a day that I don't make money to pay the bills. So that's why I have to be here as much as I am. Maybe that'll change in the future, but it's not changing anytime soon. Things are, are sadly going this way now this year i was doing good by the end of last year <laughs> and we get a hand charts well. hell yeah you know, i was doing good on youtube great member member support and everything and then number one the fake memberships completely screwed the channel over 
I went from having 500 to 800 legit members. Now we're down to like two, 300 a month. Oh man. All that revenue is lost. Oh man. That actually, that actually ruined his, his whole membership situation. Didn't it? The whole Argentina thing. Cause it completely killed any incentive for the whales to just wail out on memberships. And then they just don't. Oh man. And there's nothing I can do about it. And that's the best part. That's my favorite part. Cause usually he has nothing to do about it, but complain about it. But this time, even if he complains about it, nobody can fix it. I mean, they can make up the money he lost by just giving it to him, but they're not doing it. So, so. Okay. And then in addition to that, now RPG stagnation. So it's a thing on top of a thing and it's really hurting me bad and I'm bleeding and I need to get through this time. <laughs> He's bleeding. Consider scaling back on things that are helping the channel to make money, okay? <clears throat> this is wild. This is from yesterday, right? God damn it. For this, right? What's hilarious about this is I'm just going to read it and I'm going to respond, but people... Okay, now we're getting into the toxic segment, so let's make sure to, to go over all the, the pop-ups and everything. $5 from Copsidefull. He says not a shill like everyone else every day, but then processes to shill YouTube premium and himself every single day while also begging every day. It's, it, uh, well, I mean, that's that's your double standard, man. I, I don't know what to say about that. That's just how it works. But instead of like, he he's not even getting paid by a big corporation. He's like shilling himself to you so you can buy him as a product. You can buy his personality as the product. Is the wildest shit. Do not let Meerkat hear the words time off. He'll be on vacation again next week. No, I'll probably be here. Honestly, who does that? Real life sucks. <laughs> the Snortex is everything. Real life sucks, but sometimes it's all right. Sometimes it's chill when you get to detox. But that's that's not most of the time. All right, I'm just going to read it. Your I'm just going to read it. with Cat are meant to be a co-op experience where you two are having fun together. Having Cat play the game while you watch chat is not fun. Not for you two, and certainly not for anyone watching. We want you two to laugh and talk and enjoy being together, rather than Cat grinding through a game mode she's already beaten, and you're screening what questions are asked. You should both be active in playing and talking. Cat should not be turned away from the mic. She should not be <laughs> fielding the questions, especially for her. The interest in these streams is Cat and what she brings that is different from a normal stream. She, if she's going to play the game and focus on progress, there's no use in her being there. If she's going to say nothing or be in a bad mood, there's no use in her being there. Oh my god, this guy is ripping him a, a the brand new asshole, even multiple ones. God damn. I understand you want her to be actively interested in playing the game, but she shouldn't be so interested in it. She's not participating in the social part of the stream. My suggestion is to change your mindset about what a co-op stream with her should look like. Instead of looking for a game that you're both super interested in, look for something that is light and fun to play that will spur conversation between you two and should not require a lot of concentration. Ideally, you should find something that is two-player, but something that you can switch back and forth playing, but also acceptable if you can keep the... But look at, look at him. Look at what kind of a bitch he's acting like. Because he asks, like, the best way to get feedback is detailed, right? Somebody to explain exactly what their criticism towards you is. And not just say, well, you're stupid and you suck. And this motherfucker gets angry when somebody does that. When it, they take the time and the effort to actually write it down in a polite way. Because in reality, the feedback that he deserves is somebody to tell him, go fuck yourself. You're a moron. Go get a job. You're worthless and your streams are trash. That's feedback. And that's objectively true. Conversation going while playing because there's something like Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon that would be great. The game shouldn't be forced to carry the weight of entertaining the stream. That is what you and Chad are there to do. How do you not tell him to um, stop existing? How do you not? How do you resist the temptation? And these pigs need to grow up. Everyone take a step back, take a deep breath. All right? I think you should do that. Realize something. Everyone's just a human, a normal person. All right. Not everyone is some kind of a fake persona that they can put out there to always be ultra happy, to always be enjoying every moment of everything. The problem is you're used to that because you're so used to being spoon fed fake shit. From Bro, what? Oh, dude, oh my, what kind of an argument is this? My shit is boring because it's real. This is the real shit. Streamers and content creators, you don't understand that that's not reality, okay? People keep saying, why not play It Takes Two? Why not play? Because we're not interested. We're not fake. We're not going to do the co-op stream <laughs> and pretend to like the game just to make a paycheck. That's not what we're all about. We're not going to sit here and, and fucking waste everyone's time being being 
you know, characters on a stream. You already that's are. The point. And the fact that you don't get that is kind of disheartening. That you and, and it's like, it's your fault that you don't get it. Even though everybody has a problem with this, what the guy said in the message is, is objectively correct. And he said in a very polite way. It doesn't deserve to get shit on. And now he's getting shit on. And it's his fault. And he... Phil is actually a victim in this case because he feels disheartened that you don't even understand the concept. People, after 16 years of me making content, you still can't tell that this is really different from other content creators who are always over the top, positive about everything, sugarcoating, fucking stars and fucking rainbows and unicorns about everything. Everything's great. This is, by the way, the guy who doesn't look at life in black and white. This is the guy with colored vision. Uh, but apparently... And we're just looking at this in extremes. And that's how they get all their sponsorships. And that's how they make all their money. But we're not like that. Whoa. I received an incredibly generous tip to start today's stream. Oh, my I'm God. Glad. Epic. Please put me back into a good mood after this, okay? <laughs> after this awful start. I received an incredibly generous $100 tip. We never have been. We're never going to be. You're going to get the real us when we do anything to what about all the characters he's been playing throughout the last 15 years because at every point it's a character dude a year ago almost damn near exactly a year ago when he did the interview he was talking to people like like the the phil they see on stream is a different phil than the one in reality because the phil that we see on stream is like he's hamming it up he's trying to be entertaining and now it's about him being genuine and being a cool guy or whatever, like a real guy. Like, keep your story straight, bro. Together, okay? It was like a, a year ago, he was talking about it being a character. Okay. And so, if we're going to play a game, we want to find a game that we know is going to be something that we're both going to enjoy. And it's hopefully going to translate into something entertaining for you to watch as well. But it's not going to be, you know basically turning it into something so ultra professional and so overproduced and so ridiculous but what well, why you want to get paid like a professional then then get paid like a normal streamer that makes like five bucks a day on stream if if you don't want to be professional that it's fake literally uh... what you just said is you want us to always be playing games where we're both doing co-op gameplay together right but also, you want Kat to be ultra professional, be looking at the chat herself and reading questions and answering every question herself, even though she hasn't literally. What is she retarded? In oh, how many years? What? What? What does that have to do with anything? She can't read a question and respond to it because she's not used to streaming. Are you fucking? Are you lobotomized? What is wrong with you? And doesn't do that professionally. And doesn't even. Know she doesn't do that professionally. Like what? Read a chat in answer what she had for dinner she's not doing that on a professional level you guys we can't do it we can't allow her to do it and also on top of everything she's a woman so come on let's let's not push her limits too much to do it she has problems even like like you know women women be bad at uh reading questions you guys you know with the chat and stuff that's why she has me do it because i'm here every day doing it it's like where are you coming from with this but if we fucking do the stream and all people do is complain about she's not looking at the camera enough and this that, then fuck it. We're not going to do it. This is proof of how his wife got in the way she was. Focusing on positives fosters a supportive and positive environment, strengthens the relationship, and encourages mutual respect and understanding. He will never get it and Kat will be forever miserable. Uh, I would... Uh, th that is true. I do agree with you. I would also say it's... um The impression that I got after their Q&A streams is that they're the most low effort couple ever. Everything they do is based around the, the path of least resistance. And we do everything because it's easy. Not because, you know, it, it, it helps you develop something or, you know, it's, uh, it's productive. It's because it's easy. They got a cat because they wanted a pet that's easy to take care of. Uh, cat has a short haircut because it's easy. From Kopsai Default, the stupid to read a chat that barely moves. Yeah, it, it, it's not like she's gonna get like a thousand messages. It's gonna be like three or four questions at a time or something. And they're gonna be like, hey, Cat, did you enjoy a Skyrim? Hey, Cat, did you enjoy some mainstream movie that she's seen or something like that? Come on. No, the excuse is she's not a professional streamer. Get out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Like, actually. MX $20 from Yonahual. 
DSP has professional skills such as reading chat. Yes. You know what? He should put that in his resume for when he decides to get a job in like 2065. And I mean, like, why is he surprised that people are insulting his wife when he's presenting her as this incapable, stupid, just like person that is not good at anything? It's stupid. You, it, it is stupid. You are being stupid when you're over asking for things that don't make fucking sense. You're you asking know? too much. Just be you. You know what you're asking for? You're asking for the woman whose bills you are paying. Not to just get up in the middle of the stream, say she's bored, and leave. You're asking too much. That's too much. It's her right to leave. Even if this is the way that, that they support their entire lifestyle. She's right to leave. She can just get up, say, you're boring, stream is boring, bye-bye, and just leave. Real and be, be understanding that it's nice to have someone new and refreshing on the stream. Oh, and... and a matter of fact, not only are you asking too much, you should appreciate what you got. You should appreciate how real they are and how refreshing it is. Stop being ultra demanding the moment they put a toe on camera because you think that everything should be overproduced and over happy. That's not life. That's the fakers out there who are sugarcoating their shit and shoveling advertisements down your throat. Um, yeah, about the advertisements and shoveling them down their throat. Phil, you just got off a segment complaining about people complaining about watching too many ads on your stream. So, I, I don't know. Think about that. You're so used to it. You just think that's life. It's not fucking life. It's not real. It literally doesn't exist. You're looking at cartoon characters on a stream, and you're demanding everyone else acts just like them. It doesn't happen in real life, okay? It's bullshit. I can't believe you like the bullshit, honestly. Really. I think that it's absolutely ridiculous that you think that that's something that someone should aspire to have on the stream. It's terrible. What's hilarious is that people saying stuff in the chat, you're, you didn't listen to a word that I said. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> All right, goodbye. So what, what? The, the, they're just getting banned now. Literally, just, what did they even say? But he's going to call them idiots. They're shit on me. I, I didn't have they the shit on me. I was just talking based on what, the, what was said, right? And now you got fucking idiots coming in here. Being toxic and shit, and I'm not paying any attention to it. And I immediately look at the chat, and here comes the toxicity, right? What toxicity? Oh, he doesn't have the chat open. Is it the the messages that were on the screen, which was basically saying that, hey, Phil, you actually you just felt attacked by the message, and you're having a very impulsive, defensive reaction. You're not really addressing the content of the message. You're just defending yourself because you're an idiot. Without that idiot part. And when he's doing this, so let's go ahead and just fucking hit him with a bunch of toxicity. By the way, it's all fucking uh, sock accounts, too. Oh, yeah. He, he knows whose sock it is as well. Like 15 sock accounts. Yes, it's just it's sock all, accounts. It's probably all the same person. Oh, and then now it's all the same person. This dude is legitimately losing his mind, man. I've watched what? 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 Like 12 minutes of clips. He's insane. I haven't seen him like this ever. He's so triggered over everything. And he's so delusional and fucking schizophrenic borderline. God damn it. More than likely, and it's all the same person. Here you go. Here's another one. Here we go. Here's the other one. Okay, keep going. They're all it's hilarious. They're all random names. No no one who's recognizable who we even know from the chat, because they're all new accounts. None of them even have profiles pictures. Right? They're all the same fucking person. This is ridiculous. So anyway, here. Allow me to give you my best feedback. Get a fucking life. Um, Phil. You know that if if his audience got a life, he would have like two people left watching him. Wow. If you could just shut your mouth for five seconds. Shut your mouth? Enjoy just the fact that someone else wants to be in the content. Oh. Then maybe they'd be more inclined to be back. In insane logic, dude. Like, this is probably one of the, the worst, like, DSP debunks I, or rebuttals, if you want to say it, I've ever seen. Because what he just says is, I'm not going to do what you want. Just shut the fuck up and appreciate what I'm giving you and also support it so it can happen again. Um, it's, it's no wonder his channel is incredibly successful at the moment. Also known as, quote-unquote, I'm bleeding Yes, I wonder what's going to happen when he runs out of blood. Hey, big ups uh, VLX for the five memberships, dude. And I'm going to read out some shit that didn't pop up because stream element. Uh, shout out to Copeside Phil. Be quiet, don't think, just consume free content. Well, this is it. Just consume and appreciate it. It's not just enough that you watch it. You need to appreciate it so Cat can show up again. 
like Kat is some kind of a, a mythical creature or a goddess and not just a fat lady that has zero personality. Uh, shout out to Scott B who says, reading a chat that is just Nightbot. I would love for this to happen. If Kat thought that Nightbot is like a real chat member and started trying to respond to it, godlike. In uh, Big Ups to Copeside, Phil says, too stupid to read a chat that barely moves. I think this one popped up, but anyways. Um, big Ups, you guys. Let's move on. But the moment you start complaining about everything, because you think that you're so entitled to such the perfect level of content at all moments, is when things go south. What? Do you understand that? You know, really? it, just, it, it just calls them entitled. I just don't... I... <laughs> it does drive me nuts. Insane, dude. This should be, like, clipped... Like, beyond belief. Everybody should clip this one. Everybody. Because, you know, I see both sides of it. I see the public side of what you guys are saying, and I, I'm behind the scenes here with Kat, and I see how she reacts to this stuff, and it's just like, why can't people just be like, oh, I'm happy to see that Phil's wife wants to be on stream with him and hang out with him and have a good time with him? Because, like, who the fuck do you think you are? Are you the royal family or something? Like, why do you think yourself so highly? That people should think like this for you. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? You're just a video game streamer, dude. Calm the fuck down. Be a part of that. You're not an actual to... king. Oh. You just gave yourself the title. Because you, you just wanted to be something. Phil's wife's on stream. It's time to now micro-analyze every second of the stream and tell them everything they're doing wrong from beginning to end. Or maybe they're just saying their honest feedback. Um, isn't that how it works? What? What? Where? How did we get that jump? Because Phil is allowed, don't forget that, Phil is allowed to go watch LTG stream and give him feedback, right? And have a big segment about it, but you're not allowed to give feedback to the guy who is explicitly asking for feedback, and you give it to him in the particular place you're supposed to give it to him, and you, you shouldn't be doing it, and you're entitled, and you're an idiot. And you might be, a, by the end of this, you might be a mouth drooler as well. We, we're going to find out. You know, I just don't understand. You know, she's coming back to streams for the first time in five years. Man, she better be absolutely prepared to be an ultra professional on that stream every second. What the fuck is wrong with you? That is how you turn people off from wanting to do stuff. You understand? That's how you turn people off from wanting to give you feedback and watching your stuff. But I guess not. Because that seems to be the general attitude on YouTube. In, in general, just on YouTube in general. For example, when I started on YouTube. And now we're just talking about YouTube again. You've heard this shit like a billion times. What are we going to talk about? Sexualized jokes? Racism? What are we going to talk about? No! That's not reality. That's Wait, what? That's not life. That's not how it works. Okay? Did really? we skip a moment? It's not. Why do people expect all of this? This is wild. Because you expect to get paid. And people are telling you what you should do to have a higher likelihood of getting paid, Phil. Or maybe it sounds like you're the entitled one. If you want to be able to put out whatever product you want and to be paid exactly what you want, that might be called entitlement. You drive me nuts with this shit. You do. And the fun part is I know for a fact that that's not everybody, right? There were some people who were just so happy. To see cat oh, and this seat. is now, yeah, people were melting in their seats because the fat cat appeared and she said two words the entire time and then just left and said that she was bored. After five years away, like, well, this is nice just to have someone else on the stream with Phil and it's someone who he loves, his significant other. You know, they were just happy and I'm sad, I'm grateful for that. We, we are grateful for that. For those who just wanted to see her and see how she was doing and just, you know, just to listen to her talk and just hang out and do something a little different. You know what I mean? It's always been an op literally an open door policy. She could have yeah. come in here at any time. Yeah, yeah, she she looks like she would love to come in. Um, that's nice, and I'm 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 grateful for those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we get it. Those who just we get it. He's a victim of people hating on him because he's a piece of shit. Oh no! What are we gonna do? I just want to be ultra demanding about every fucking part of everything that we do. That's ridiculous. And you know, it's never gonna be like that. Just to, to be straight with you, no, we're probably never gonna get to a level where she's gonna come on stream and it's gonna be like ultimate production value. She's what are we? What are we talking about production value? Nobody is expecting this. They're just asking you to play a game for two people and actually try and put in some effort. That's that's all they're asking. They're not asking for six camera angles and 
professional microphones everywhere and like 4K cameras. Come on. We're comfortable looking. And he knows this. He knows this. It's just easier to create a straw man argument and, and shit on that one than actually look up the real argument. You get the chat. She's so How? She'd have to be here every day just like me to get to this level. Not level of what? Just look at the camera. Of reading a message? And talk naturally. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so it's time to wake up. Either you have her in content or you don't. But the moment that you get over demanding is the moment that she doesn't want to do it because it's But that's the thing, bro. Right. I don't give a fuck what she wants to do. If you bring her on stream, I expect something more than a vegetable. That's what I expect. Somebody who is, when you show up to stream, uh, you know you're supposed to be entertaining in some kind of way. Or at least showcase your personality in some kind of way. You're not invited to a stream to sit there and be decoration and be a part of the environment. You're not really there for that. Castle is too frustrating. If so many people are upset at But you're supposed to like show up and Kat's gonna be on stream and you're like worshipping her like a fucking goddess or something. I don't even know what he expects to, to happen. Then why do it, right? Just chill the fuck out. I mean, that's really the best advice right now. Just chill the fuck out. Stop being so str high, strong, and, and uptight and demanding of everything in life. Just chill the fuck out. And everything will be better. I promise you. As I've gotten older now, and I've oh my god, no, this is gonna get me like radioactive, man. The fake fucking wisdom. I cannot bear. Five dollars from Kopsai Defal. God forbid the dense ask for some quality content they're paying for, but no Phil wants to get paid it's, for making garbage tier content. It, it's not even quality content that they expect. They just expect a little bit better. A little bit better. They're not asking for insane stuff that is unachievable or unattainable. They're asking like, okay, play a game for two people, cat to, you know, try and have some kind of a conversation to read some chat messages, you know, what a normal person does. They're not expecting insane stuff, man. Oh, and I missed it. God damn it. This is no exact. I find stuff. You understand? This shit. You do. Listen to her talk and just hang out and do something a little different. You know what I mean? It's always been an open, literal level. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so... It's time to wake up. Either you have her in content or you don't, but the moment that you get over demanding is the moment that she doesn't want to do it because it's too much of a hassle, it's too frustrating. If so many people are upset at it, then why do it, right? Just chill the fuck out. I mean, that's really the best advice right now. Just chill the fuck out. Stop being so str high, strung and, and uptight and demanding of everything in life. Just chill the fuck out and everything will be better. I promise you, as I've gotten older now and I've learned to lean back and more relax, and say, you know what? You can't control everything. Not everything's perfect. Just chill out a bit. Life is better in that way, man. But when you're just uptight about everything, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. For a second, just sit back and relax and stop being so demanding and so ridiculous. <laughs> Baby, if you're tired, you can, you can. You don't have to stick around. If you're really sore and tired, you can go. Yeah, I, haven't, I need to stand up. All right, go ahead. No one's no baby. No one's forcing you to be here. I mean, you already know what you're doing. So. Yeah, you can take yeah. off for the night. Just say goodbye to everyone. Bye. That's all. Bye. <laughs> She's beat. Uh, sorry guys, I got a call, but I was low key hearing what he was talking about, and I mean, this. Uh, I just want to move on from this fucking topic because DSP and Cat, bro. I I just can't. They're just, they're they're just the worst. It sucks so bad. Okay, let's catch up on uh, if there's any pop-ups here, dude. All they advised was to pick less demanding games for co-op streams with Cat. Literally. More interaction and shared fun, making the stream more enjoyable for viewers. WTF can he not understand? This is why Panda Lee is living her best life and he isn't. And you know what? Panda Lee was doing everything correct. Well, her personality was annoying, but still. And instead, they got Terry Schiavo. And Phil says that's good enough. What the fuck is Terry Schiavo? Hold on. I'm, I'm curious. I want to look that one up. And then I want to look up the song that somebody sent me earlier. What is a, a series of court legislative actions? What, what happened? A 41-year-old Florida woman who was in persistent vegetative... St oh, okay. All right. It's way too toxic. It's way too toxic. Even though I, I said vegetable early on. <laughs> All right, big up spikes. Uh, then we got um, big up Wesley H. Um, chill the fuck out says after banning people that he says are being unreasonable and misrepresenting the suggestion. 
which is true, he absolutely misrepresented it. Even though it was a long suggestion, he could have went like paragraph by paragraph if he really actually wanted to. But yeah. Big ups uh, President Tanaka who says he pigmentized himself into developing schizophrenia. Truly wild. I've heard that, and I've heard this from a psychologist, I've heard that if, if some people have, uh, you know, a susceptible psyche, they could do some kind of drugs and, and if, if they have like a traumatic enough moment, they can actually develop schizophrenia. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, big ups to VLX who says, we are the coroner demons and we are legion. And we're never leaving, dude. He's he's bleeding. You hear what he said? He, he said he's bleeding. We need to finish the job. We need to end him. He's going to be screaming like this. <laughs> That's him. Somehow. And uh, yeah, big up Scott B who says, has he looked into a mirror late, late, lately? Do you think so? Um, you know, with the chat and stuff. I mean, he's been looking fucking rough. He's been looking... He's been looking something. I don't even know what to say, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, used to it at this point, but looking at, at a photo of him from, like, 2017 is wild. It's just, like, the difference is, is uh, night and day. Oh, and I missed another one. I'm sorry. Uh, big ups to Copeside Phil, who says, this is the United States of Phil, and it's my land. Which, I, I agree with... If you look up his United States of Phil rant, or, you know, quote, I guess... Is basically him saying that you don't have like actual freedom of speech as in the constitution, so he gets to determine when he can ban you or not, which is technically correct. Um, but uh, it's uh, you know once once you take it out of context, it makes him seem like a dictator that he is. Army, bro. Hate army. Stop. Oh yeah. Hate. hate army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out so this is allegedly a uh, an unrecorded pre-stream from yesterday. So let's see what happened then. Hey, and yesterday, as you saw, as I showed in the beginning, I think he made like 15 bucks or something. It was uh, it was a very slow Yakuza stream. And an early good evening to all of you that are here early for the stream. I am here early. Big ups Remy for two months and says, uh, shout out to hate. Up here, and then we can just kind of hang out for like 20 minutes or so before we start with gameplay because uh, I don't have anything else to do. I wrapped up all my uh, stuff that I needed to do before the stream and uh i'm not tied up in anything so let me just get the chat open and see what you lovely people are up to today hold on here while i uh get the stream going on the laptop and tonight we're gonna have big big progress because from what i'm gonna understand we're in the near the very end like 20 minutes away from the end of chapter nine and we had just started chapter nine last night like certain chapters of this game are shorter than others um, because essentially what they, they want you to do is kind of break up the side content to do. And so we did a lot of the side content in Hawaii already. And some of the new stuff is unlocked, but 10 oh are, my Lord. are all super short. But then the final chapter ends up being like 10 hours long for the finale of the game. How do some streamers do it and not get flagged for what? Flag uh, for what? Some streamers are fake and they're idiots. And they are bad people or something. I don't know what you mean. I don't know. Up and I can't see if you're me. talking about something that you like about a different streamer, then he's terrible and you should feel bad for liking him. If you ask Phil. As you're talking about. Because he is oh, the streamer. Smash Brothers songs. He is the greatest streamer. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good evening, Jesse. How are you? Good to have you here. Lucky Gremlin says, let's knock it out. Let's, let's do some big progress tonight, right? Let's get some good plot advancement. Let's do it. I think that's the way to go tonight. Here, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, like, no no lie, like, three, four streams. So tonight and the two or so streams we do next week of this game, just get as far in the story as we can. And then we're going to probably get to a logical point where it's like, okay, here's side content or end of game, and we can determine at that point, do we just want to wrap up the game or do we want to actually explore some of the side missions and content? Does it feel meaningful, Right. I, I feel like this, you know, if, if meaningful check, well, everything. Okay, I'm skipping this. This is just like a forward. Only like 45 hours in. Oh, never mind. We're begging. Memberships. Yep. <laughs> you never even know, man. He just turns it on. He just switches. Uh, he just switches into begging gear out of nowhere. Get them on it. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to have add everything. Oh, you piece of shit. 
Oh, hold on. I, I got Kid Rock to say that. And Smash songs for the intros. I was saying Atlas and Nintendo would flag you. Yeah, what end up, what would end up happening is it would just get demonetized. Uh, I just got this. If one. I had any talking all that bullshit on this stream instead of my own music, it would just the whole stream would just get demonetized. So I wouldn't be able to have ad revenue. I wouldn't be able to do anything monetization on the stream. I'd still be able to take in super chats, memberships, tips, and I would be able to break up the gameplay later and upload it separately. But the stream itself would not make any any money. You see. <clears throat> There's a few side quests left in Hawaii that are good, like the Ice Guy. Oh my god, and now we go back to, like, brain Dude, damage. We've almost, we've almost been playing it for two months, and we're only, like, 45 hours in. We gotta get further progress at this point. And there's so many other games now coming out. Battlefront comes out Friday. Uh, Rise of the Ronin, the Friday oh, dude. After. And, like, the more time you take off watching this guy, the more it annoys you. Because, you know, I, I would assume... You're not watching this guy. You're dealing with some kind of work stuff, like actually important stuff, like actually important things. And then you look at this dude and you see how intensely he's talking about which video game he's going to play and how long he's been playing it for and where he is in the game. And if he plays it for this amount of hours today, what's going to happen? If he plays it for this amount of hours tomorrow, what's going to happen? And you just think of yourself, this is... So worthless. This is so like meaningless. This is so insignificant. We've got a uh, possibility of like a survival horror game with Alone in the Dark. Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out and I'm skipping it for now. I want Why? To play it. I'm skipping it because I'm what? already playing What? Too many that game looks like a banger. Why would you even skip it? Because it, it's an RPG? Well, tough shit. That's what's coming out. You got to eat what comes out game so we have to focus on progress at this point i cannot believe and it's not even like because the first one wasn't one of those like super slow rpgs it's kind of like the pacing is all right i think god damn it bro and the alone in the dark thing um I, it looks bad i mean it kind of looks like a mediocre like double a game or just straight up a bad game depending on how many uh, technical issues is gonna have when it comes out. <laughs> oh, and the the Battlefront collection, he's gonna be playing that tomorrow. But already, it got terrible reviews on Steam because I don't know. I think the lobbies were small, or they just got like three dedicated servers or something like that. So apparently, it is not going good. So, yeah, it's going to be a Battle nasty situation tomorrow, dude. $35, or if you have PS Plus, it's $31.50. So, that's misinformation. If someone was under the impression they're charging full price for the Battlefront Classic Collection, that's false. It's basically half price for two games. So They got three dedicated servers for 10,000 players. That's, that's something. Excuse that's me. definitely meaningful for, well, <laughs> for like 200 people. Brad, no one knows what you're talking about. Grandia 2 HD Remaster has been announced for March 26th. Another RPG coming out on March 26th. Okay. And uh, I, I like how he tries to make this seem like an issue with gaming as a whole, that there's too many RPGs. When it's specifically an issue with him, it's his problem. And now, what the fuck? Oh my god! Now, what, what was that? Oh my god! That's that's. Uh, oh no, I, know the I agree. Aren't that long. This has been the smartest thing he says in the last uh, hour. I'm aware of that. I played them. I played. I think it might have been Grandia too that I had on PC back in the day, the early 2000s. I really liked that game. I played it a few times, actually. Bro, and shut I the fuck it. up. Stop pretending to like That's video insane. games. It doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> we're picking the ear. Where is that going? You, you already know. It's pajama pants time. And he was, yep. And he was wearing the Zelda jammies again we shall yesterday. See. There's want... somebody, uh, somebody took a screenshot of him with his gunt out in the Zelda jammies. It's absolutely grotesque make any promises about i almost got myself suspended off twitter again any rpgs at all for the rest of this year i mean it too i don't want to make a single promise about an rpg it happens when all i do is play rpgs attendance engagement support everything is down 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 right now because i'm playing too many rpgs i have to play other games i have to start variety again on this channel <clears throat> dude i low-key 
you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to GTA 6 because, I mean, of course. But at the same time, that, that game is going to save the business, you guys. All we got to do is Five wait until next year. Alone in the Dark is already 34% on PC and it's not oh. yet. That's a horrible sign. You know a game bad when it's on a deep sale and not even out yet. Oh, wait. Oh, it's 34% off? I thought that, that was like a 34 on Metacritic or something. How is it? What? Yeah, <laughs> why are they even doing this? Oh my god, man. It's awful. Imagine if he played games like 60 Seconds where he could involve chat for decisions day by day or even run polls for some of them. The Dents would love that. But no, on well, to the next RPG. It in concept is good, but the pacing is going to be the worst. Because uh, all those polls and all those questions and he's going to have to wait... For people to decide what they want. It's going to destroy the pacing of the whole stream. But the, the idea itself is fine. Burnell? What's the next a, thing that isn't an RPG? Got a stream to run? I literally just ran it down for you. The Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection comes out tomorrow. But I'm playing it Friday because I'm not here tomorrow. Isn't that technically an RPG? Because you're playing the role of a Star Wars character? In a week from that, there's Rise of the Ronin. At the same time, there's Dragon's Dogma 2, but I'm not playing it. That's also an RPG. Rise of the Ronin is an RPG because you got a level up system. You're, well, of course, you're role playing, but you got a leveling up system. You got gear. You got a bunch of like items that you can use. It's technically an RPG. It's an RPG. There's uh, Alone in the Dark coming out. And then in that's April, not an RPG. Several releases, but what I'm going to do is on my birthday, April 6th, we're going to do a marathon. And during that marathon, we will go through the release schedule for the Oh rest my of the god. The hammer in the dates. This, like, th it actually triggers me because I think of last year and having to restream this in the middle of the night. And he took like an hour to read through game releases and was just shitting on everything that's on PC and everything he hasn't heard of, he was also shitting on. Oh, Absolutely miserable. His, his big events have, have become so miserable and so lazy that they're just like, I, I don't even feel compelled to restream them. If something spectacular could happen and I'm just not going to care because then you got like eight and a half hours worth of dog shit. Their game's coming out so we know what to look for the rest of the year. Because right now I haven't had a chance to look at the schedule in ages. So outdated at this point. Uh, Where is it? Trying to find it. All right, let's just skip this one. So this collection on Friday is supposed to be the PC game now made for modern platforms. It's not supposed to be the like the PS2 version. It's supposed to be the actual uh, PC version with all its features. <clears throat> oh, shock style game. I tried Atomic Heart, but it wasn't the same. It's not. Atomic Heart is not the same. Really poorly. So he had... Wait, is this an actual like 30 minute Q&A before... Or at least 20-something minutes before even playing the game. Oh, well, some of it is during gameplay, but, like, man. Because uh, he really wants to have a podcast on the night stream. Because, well, of course, the night stream is, like, the lowest revenue stream usually. So, of course. What they were expecting. And of course, that's what he wants. Why. Like, they thought that they had marketed it properly and everything. I think, I think what it is is there was fatigue at one time. Remember, we had the Dishonored games. Then we had Deus Ex. And we had many other, like, the, that formula was being used so much. The whole first-person RPG looter style formula that I think people got burnt out on it. And it just died for a while. But now I think there's such a lack of it that people are, are, would like that again. <clears throat> Dark Gaming says, it sucks. You paid for all the, the Like a Dragon DLC. You won't have any time to do post-game content. I mean... Yeah, I bought the, the Super Ultra Deluxe Edition. It gives you all this extra stuff for Dondoko Island that I only played four hours of Dondoko Island. I'm never going back. It gave me all this stuff for Sujimon, and people are saying I might as well not even do Sujimon because all it is is a bunch of grindy stuff you can beat in like five You know what's hours. really impressive? It's really impressive that he spent more time talking about Dondoko Island than actually playing it. He was so hyped. It was going to save not just the business. It was going to save the galaxy. And then Cat got bored within like two hours and she left and then he didn't want to play it anymore. <laughs> and he bought the big baller edition for it too. It, it costs like $110 or something. And all you do at the end is you get a new job class that you don't need. So 
I paid all this extra money. Was it like 30, 40 extra bucks or whatever it was? To get the best edition, and I'm probably not using any of that stuff. You know? I think, again, the problem is... There's nothing wrong with this game and all of its content. There's nothing wrong with Final Fantasy and all of its content. There's nothing wrong with Baldur's Gate and all of its content. There's nothing wrong with Persona 3 and all of its content. The problem is it's all at once. You can't have so many insanely lengthy games that literally when you Bro, play these games, this should be the only game you're playing. When When is somebody going to tell him to just go back and play old games? He can play a game from like 2015. He can play a game from 2012. But... What, what does that make you feel? Well, he's not going to get support for it. So he needs to use the new releases as a crutch because he's just not entertaining enough by himself. Right? If you're totally immersed in Like a Dragon, you'll beat it in a month, but you'll see all the content. If you're totally immersed in Final Fantasy VII, you'll see all the... You'll get through it in like two, three weeks, but... That's and you know, the, the thing, I, I know people can sometimes say you just, you just stop playing the game and you move on to something else when you're bored. But he built his own reputation for being, you know, the guy who does the whole playthrough. So if you're doing playthroughs and it's like unfinished, then it just doesn't make sense doing it. You might as well just do a first impressions thing and drop the game or something like that. Me, I'm variety. I, I balance a bunch. of. I think, oh, legitimately, that is not a, a bad idea for him to do like first impressions of games. That Some game comes out, it's free. He plays it for like an hour. He puts together like some dog shit edited video on YouTube and he can get like a thousand views or something. I mean, we got to start from from level one. It's not like we're getting anywhere else, but you know. Different stuff. So I'm not allowed to just see the one game because then if I basically skip the game and play it two months later, no one cares. You know, that's just the truth. So it's it's rough. There's too many games that, as they're being developed, they feel like that's going to be your major focus for a month to two months. That's not reality for most people. Most people, how much do you even get to play a game? A couple of hours a day, maybe, if you're lucky. Yeah. Your busy life and everything. So how can you play a 100-hour game? It's going to take you three months to beat it. Sure, right? why not? <laughs> like, so what? I don't know. I Again. Like, well, what's the problem with taking a lot to beat? If if I like it, I don't mind. I'll I'll stick with it. I'll play it. The Why not? Games, the whole idea of a video game actually used to be jump in, jump out kind of entertainment. Like, okay, I'm going to come home from work. I'm going to boot up my console and I'm going to just jump right back into the game and play it for a couple of hours and have a really good time. Just hit that checkpoint or save point and that's it. And then we, we pick it up tomorrow. Not, oh, this is such an immersive experience that tonight when I came home from work and I came to play the game, it was a two hour cutscene. I didn't even play the game. It was just two hours of cutscenes. And then I'm out of time, so I, I didn't get to play the game tonight. I just watched a movie, right? Then I'm out of time. Like, what? Well, you know you can just stay up late if you really feel like it. Yeah, if you gotta wake up early the next day, well, sure, it's gonna be... It's gonna suck, but... It, you know? That's how a lot of these games are. It's like... <laughs> like, I don't understand it, man. He's trying to project his own issues with games being too long onto everybody else, who probably doesn't necessarily have those issues. Yeah, that's not reality for most people. It's like ideal state. If everyone had had unlimited time to sit around and play video games, maybe that works. It doesn't really work in real society. You know what I'm saying? When was the last time he participated in real society? I guess back when he used to have a job. At least he showed up to work sometimes. <clears throat> Dark Gaming says, It's wild we pay $20 to see a two-hour movie, but $70 for a 100-hour RPG. That's also true. And I, I feel like maybe the scale is wrong, right? Why does every game feel like it has to be 100 hours, but... Well, to justify the amount of money you're going to spend on it. And I'm not saying that's a good idea, but they want to equate length with value. So it feels like you're getting bang for your buck, you know. But it's not always like that. Is that really an on-pace level of entertainment for the realistic world? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I play video games full time for a living. The difference is I juggle a bunch of them. If I was just sitting here playing one game, like how many are a bunch? Let's let's give him a quick vibe check. Cause I, I think he's playing right now no more than four games, which I would not say is a bunch of games, considering he's streaming. He has like what? Twelve streams a week? Yeah, look at this. So this is his schedule for for fourteenth to eighteenth. So this like five days. Well, it's four days technically. So first we got a day off, which is today. 
Then we got Star Wars. This is one game. Then we got Final Fantasy. This is one game. Like a Dragon. That's one game. So three. And then we do Baldur's Gate 3. So he's playing four games. You got 12 streams a week playing four games, acting like he's playing 12. Okay. He is describing video games as tedious. I thought games were his pea flowers. He is so burnt out. He should just give it up. Well, I mean, what else he gonna do? I just, just like quit gaming for real, for real? Like fur, fur, fur? Greedo the green. Gamers to short not worth the money game to long don't have time to finish it. This dude is coming up with every excuse why his channel is dead besides it him and how he sucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, ideally, he would prefer short games that are like 10 hours long. So you can put it on the conveyor belt, get it over with, move on to the next one. Uh, but there, it, it doesn't always work because some of them just don't get support. And it's... It, I, I don't know. That's his fucking problem. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try and fix it. Uh, and also, there's some that didn't pop up. Big ups, uh, Lord Kane, triple six. What about the romance in Baldur's Gate 3? He doesn't like it. Well, what about it? Huh? What about it? It's, uh, it's, it, it's bad, I guess. If, if he says so. Even though I've seen some pretty cool cutscenes relating to the romance. You can have sex with a bear. You can have sex with a dragon or something. You can have sex with everything. It's, it's almost like it's fiction or something. It's not supposed to be real. Uh, big ups to uh, Copeside Phil for the two. Old games are better than most modern games. Well, that, that is true. Because back then, at least, once you released a game and if it was broken as shit, you couldn't really fix it. And now you can fix it. Even most games get a day one fucking patch. Imagine this. Shit sucks. There's no incentive to actually release a complete and finished product. Because it's actually, there's more incentive into releasing an unfinished product so you can sell it piecemeal and maximize profits. That's what I'm talking about. I should work for Brunel Productions, dude. You know, I got all the ideas. And uh, Big Ups Elk for the two. Cat must be burned out listening to this Joker. I, I hope she's using, like, neck phones or something to, like, muffle, muffle the sounds. Because living with Dark Side Phil must be one of the most exhausting experiences you can have. Because this dude wears you down. It wears you down with his constant negativity and how obnoxious he is and how annoying he is. You just you just can't bear with this dude. Like for example, Like a Dragon was at the end of January. It came out. If all I played was Like a Dragon and I did all the side content too, like let's say I did all the missions, I did the Sujimon grinding, I did all, I probably would have been done by now, right? But think of all the games I would not have played that I played in the last month. I wouldn't have checked out Pal World. I wouldn't have checked out. Silent Hill, The Short Message. I wouldn't have played Tekken 8 whatsoever. I wouldn't have played any Baldur's Gate. I wouldn't have played Final Fantasy 7. I wouldn't have done any of the React content that I just did over the last month. This whole playthrough of, of uh, Retro Replay Heavy Rain never would have happened just because I'm sitting here playing like a dragon. You see how crazy that is? Like, Yeah, but that... Well, of course, in this case, he talks about it as if he's going to finish the game 100%. All you got to do is just... Just play the main story. Finish that as fast as possible, or at least not as fast as possible. Do some of the side stuff. But, of course, it has to be an extreme. It has to be either a, a zero or a one. It's always a binary choice with him. There's no nuance. <laughs> There's no compromise. Brunel? Brunel? Yeah, I really feel like, I think here's what's happened. Every game, as I, I said this earlier on the podcast, every game wants to be Witcher 3 now. That's exactly what it is. Witcher 3 was the poster case, poster child case, right, of a game that no one knew how good it was going to be, and you buy it, it's like endless content, crazy good missions. It just keeps going and going. And then every company felt like they had to compete with Witcher 3, so they all made exactly the same formula of game. Not exactly the same genre, not exactly the same play style, but the same formula where there's a main story you can kind of turbo through faster, but there's all this periphery content that makes the game 80 to 100 hours long if you explore it all, right? And I get that, but not every gaming experience is supposed to be that. Just being honest, you know? It's just not supposed to all be that. And also, you shouldn't be releasing that many in a short period of time. It's the but same like what? entertainment What? Media. You shouldn't be releasing that many. You know that they don't coordinate when they're going to release them. Uh, or at least I, I would assume most of the time. 
And and also having them released at the same time doesn't mean that everybody's just gonna buy all of them. You just because th this should cost seventy dollars at least. Some some of the new games cost like eighty euros for me. I I saw fucking uh, Skull and Bones cost like seventy nine ninety nine, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you are you lobotomized? What's wrong? Uh, but you you're just gonna look at the games you feel like playing. You're gonna buy one. You're gonna play it. You might even wait for another one to be on discount because you can wait because you got other stuff to do as well. If you really want to play a game hard, then just, I mean, go for it. Right? If, just think about this. If a Transformers action movie, a Ninja Turtles action movie, a G.I. Joe action movie, and, I don't know, a Dragon Ball action movie all released within two months, don't you think they would cannibalize each other? No, not not really. Everyone would be like, oh, they're, you know, they're all the same. No, it's again, it's a dog shit fucking analogy. It's all action, you know, kind of big explosions, Michael Bay animation. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do as well. If you space it out, like, oh, for the, the summer blockbuster is the Ninja Turtles reboot. But then in the fall, there's a new Transformers movie. And then what if they want to have the Transformers movie in the summer? Cause it's going to do better in China. Because in the summer, you can do better in China, for example. Like, bro, this guy, like, pretends to know some shit, and there's nobody to tell him how stupid and wrong he is. And there's nobody to shut him up. I would die for him to have some kind of a co-host that would I'm always call him out. That would be the Grand greatest. Auto 6 comes out, and then I'll play something else in a year's time. I could easily play four games a year and be content. You know, that's, that's kind of like me, too, yeah. I can play some older games I already have bought before. And maybe I can play the yearly FIFA because, I mean, why the fuck not? Unless it's really terrible, I'm probably going to end up buying it when it's like 40% off, which is like two months after it comes out. And I just buy like one or two other games and then that's it. Early on the next year is the Dragon Ball movie. Then they'll do better. But how these companies don't understand that, it doesn't make any sense that they don't understand that. They should. This is their whole fucking business. And they don't get that releasing all the same type of game in this close proximity is a horrible idea. <clears throat> I have no idea what Rise of the Triad is. I've never heard of it. There you go. Well, you should try it. Like a Dragon dramatically improves upon the last one. It does. But it's hard to get noticed in a sea of RPGs. Oh my god, no. No, it appeals to a specific demographic that already has noticed it. They already knows it exists. Because it's a massive... Uh, uh, it's a massive franchise. It has like a thousand games in it. Shut the fuck up, dude. You, know, you don't know what you're talking about. Right? Like, if you were to ask me... Because it's like, of course, his narrative is that there's too many RPGs. So he's starting, he's not using arguments to prove the narrative. He's building the arguments around the narrative itself. So it can be, it's like confirmation bias. Basically the same thing. Because this shit he's talking about makes no sense. And it doesn't prove his point. The game's good. Well, like a dragon, the combat's way better. Right? Having two open world areas is way better. Having two parties you swap between is really cool. I like all those improvements. In Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, having open world exploration and side content that wasn't present in Remake is great. It's a great improvement. But, like, if you were to ask me head-to-head -head what's a better game, I don't even know. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. I can't. It's just not possible, right? The other thing, too, is that, like, like what about Persona 3? That one apparently also did really well. You know, and it looks great. I've seen it. Cat played a little bit of it, and it looks gorgeous. I'm like, I would love to play that game. I can't. Like, I literally can't. I wish I could, but I can't play it. <laughs> Why not? It's too much. Oh, of course. I, I, yeah. And uh, that is a good point in chat, says uh, Darth HD. You can easily turn this on him, too. Why is he playing so many RPGs at the same time? He can choose not to, to play them and space them out. You can pretty much turn every argument against him. Because, like, then, to this question, he's probably going to answer it's because, well, RPGs are the new, li the latest releases, and otherwise, if he was playing older games, they wouldn't get support. And then you turn this on him and say, well, then you're so dependent on the games, you spend 15 years building a personality and presence for yourself on the internet, where you cannot depend on your personality, and instead you need to depend on the games. 
So people basically show up to look at the game and not at you. Um, so you're a bad streamer. So here's the thing, though, Sarah, because Sarah said, well, Like a Dragon and Persona 3 Reloaded had record sales numbers. That's great. And Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has lower sales numbers than Final Fantasy XVI. So what happened was the games that came out right next to each other did good, and now there's fatigue. Like, I guarantee you, Dragon's Dogma ain't going to do as well. It's I'll tell you right as now. As well as what? We have RPG fatigue right now, and you're going to see all these RPGs coming out in the next one to two months. You're going to see sales numbers aren't as good as they expected. Because now you have too much competition. People really? People already backlogged, and now they're starting to catch up on the backlog, and they don't have time to buy the next game. You see? That's exactly what's going to happen. The first two of the year did good because they were the first two out of the gate. But now you're going to start to see that problem. Bro, no. No. I mean, no. Come on, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, what are these? Because these takes are based on nothing. It's not based on, like, he pulls up, like, a an article or something. It's like, well, I, I saw something. Well, it's more like, this is what I want to believe. So I will invent the arguments that prove what I want to believe. Sounds good. Sounds very much like Burnell. Lucky Gremlin, I agree with you. However, you have to understand that's not how these games are judged. He says, $2 games... from Kopsai Default. FF7 has lower sales numbers in Japan, not in the US. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, and, Well, I would assume... Is, isn't that like the, the second part of the Final Fantasy VII remake? So it's also a sequel to something. So if you didn't like the first one, or you haven't played it, you're probably going to be less... Uh, you're gonna tend to buy it less. They're not for a limited time. You can buy you buy them when you're ready to play them. You're correct. Oh, but MX that's fifty dollars not... from Yonahuel. He seriously doesn't understand. There are different unrelated groups of people making games, but a global government agency, the UN, political fiddle. Yeah, yeah. That that that's literally it. It's like all these companies they're looking out for their best interests and when is gonna be the best for them to release their game. They don't give a fuck about in the most cases in about having like some serious competition otherwise uh um, you know it, it has happened in the past you might remember when horizon forbidden west i think released a couple of days um in between like next to elden ring or something so it completely got just got swiped oh, away all of these but it wasn't really even that impressive industries would listen to phil bernal the smartest pig man in the world then the u.s economy would be fixed forever well, he should uh, he should definitely run for president. I think that would unironically be very entertaining, and he's gonna he's he might get a lot of clout. Dollars from Rocco Sandwiches. Like actually, he thinks his relevance on YT is based on how much time he spends on the platform. His ego will never let him give that up. I don't think so. I don't think he he bases that off of relevance. Uh, I think he knows he's irrelevant, and that's what hurts him. I think what hurts him is that people don't take his opinion seriously because. Well, he's a meme, and he's irrelevant. And that's why, I guess, when when he tried to come back from Twitch to YouTube and reinvigorate the channel, he wanted to return back to relevancy. He wanted to bring that, that channel back to relevancy, and it, obviously it did not work. I mean, obviously. Not how the games industry works. At all. Take a look at games that don't sell well. Like Suicide Squad is already 40% off. It was 70 bucks. now it's like 35 that's what happens to these games if they don't sell. They have to slash the prices because the inventory isn't moving on the physical shelf. They got to liquidate that inventory, get it out of the store. And digitally, the marketplaces are like, we've had, we wanted these to move. They're not moving. How do you move? Slash the price, slash the price. So these game companies are not going to be successful. Doing Wait, well, it, it, is he talking about moving digital products? Yeah, well, we have to move this. We have too much inventory of digital products. Because first, first he started talking about the physical, which I I understand. You got a bunch of physical boxes, you know, slash the price, whatever. But then he talked about like a digital storefront. Doing right now. <laughs> we got too many digital copies of how they're gonna release. We got game. 65 terabytes of Elden Ring. We need to get rid of it, you guys. They need to be making sales at launch and have hype behind the game. Now Bro, you're literally bankrupt. Shut the fuck up. Literally bankrupt. Nah, people talk about it for two You're days. yapping too much. You know too much. Until the next one came out, and now we dropped the last one, right? Like, I feel like Like a Dragon would have gotten way more talk, word of mouth, social media presence, everything, if Persona 3 didn't come out right after. And then if the next really? one didn't what? come out right after. Like, the but problem. they're so different. 
They're so different. God damn it. Because none of these games have had time. Like completely different games. Even though they're both like set in Japan. And they, they're both Japanese like developed games. But it's like they're so different. Final Fantasy is also different. Dragon's Dogma is also different. Because like out of all these games, I have different reasons to play, play the different ones. To shine? They, they're less like a week. And then the next one, the next RPG is out. So you're talking about the next one. And then the next one. Right? Really? They do? Oh, I knew that the Suicide Squad game was going to be atrociously bad. I'm, I, I, well, I mean, yeah. One. Like a book. That's like, I mean, Stevie Wonder could have seen that one coming. Up front, and I knew it was going to be a waste of time. I'm very glad I avoided it. All right, we actually got to get started, guys. Uh, guys, please do me a favor tonight. Again, oh, yes. Oh, yes. We beg. Very nice. This content, Please support it. Right now, Like a Dragon is by far my least supported stream that I've ever done. I'm not... That's not even an exaggeration. It, that is... Um, it is likely an exaggeration, really but is. Like, still. I'm like 5 to $10. <laughs> it's the, the lowest supported stream I've ever done. Right when I stream it. So I could be flipping burgers and making more. Yeah, why aren't you not fucking flipping burgers, you brat-faced piece of shit? Why don't you go flip some burgers? You might actually learn something for once. It's fine because... And look at the, the way he's talking about it. Like, those people flipping the burgers, they're not people. They're, like, subhuman or something. Look at the, the fucking condescension to those people that actually have to get up in the morning. They have to get fucking dressed, not sit around in their pajama pants. They're gonna show up to work on time. Clock in. They gotta deal with pieces of shit like him all day. People crying about their burgers and thinking they're the, the king of the fucking world. They gotta deal with actual shit like that. And then they get paid like shit. And they get treated like shit by people like this dude. Other streams are doing well. Like earlier today, the Baldur's Gate stream did well. But it would be great to get some support tonight on the stream if possible. Okay? So please support Like a Dragon if you can. If you enjoy it, I, I can. It. That's why I'm still playing it despite the fact it's not making anything for me. But it would be great to have some support if possible tonight of any kind. I want to know what a zero growth in this family's receipts. There's the fucking money! Okay. Mm -hmm. Any videos or anything like that on my Xbox at all, I use the YouTube app to do the React Show, and that's it. <clears throat> Two dollars from Ice Age. I'd love to see him work an eight hour at McDonald's. You know what? Uh, when I was just starting university, I was a freshman. I had a bunch of friends working at McDonald's, but they all told me not to work there because it's like, it fucking sucks. It's miserable. And I got to see them because sometimes we were hanging out after work and they would show up and they just like, they, they had absolutely no will to live, man. It was, it was terrible. And at the same time, it's not like I was working a much more prestigious job. I was uh, working in a warehouse, like packing boxes and picking orders and shit. But, like, those people, they were, like, McDonald's, like, Ronald McDonald sucked the life out of him. And not in, like, the, a nice way. It's not, not in, like, a sloppy way. It's more of a, like, a toxic, negative way. Okay. We ready? Han Solo just gifted a membership to start. Thank you, Han. All right. Ready? It went to DJ. Congrats, DJ, on the gifted membership. Enjoy. All right, here we go. Okay, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Yesterday, we had a massive amount of story progress. All right. But oh, by the way, hold on. What happened, Phil? I received did you... a dollar tip. For yeah, me. hell yeah, farts. it's happening. Wow. What, what did they say? Poopy farts. All right. But oh, by the way, hold on. I received a dollar tip from someone who says poopy farts. Of wow. course. Of course. That's uh, very intelligent of you. Well, this is somehow more intelligent than most things uh, Derek has ever said in the chat. Or One Minute Man you. Uh, with his messages. Right, you know, what we really need it right now during this very heavy part of plot exposition were some poopy farts. Uh -huh. so thanks so much for that. I really appreciate that. Poopy farts. Now you know the truth. Uh, mouth guard. Okay. Okay. 
Is he gonna beg? And uh, then we're gonna continue on. Yeah, he's gonna break and, the part uh, here and then beg. Again, just kind of push more of the plot now that we're in chapter. Oh 10. man, because uh, yeah, right now we're sitting at four dollars of positivity. Okay. So everyone, I have actually six. Room. I've actually had to use it for about twenty-five minutes. No lie, but we got stuck in so many cutscenes and everything. I was like, let's just write it out. So if you guys give me like five minutes to use the bathroom, I'm not going to run an ad or anything. I'm just gonna. Basically Whoa, he's not gonna run an ad. Whoa, this is so epic. It's incredible. I can't even believe that this is happening. He's not monetizing you guys. This is how much he respects you. Uh, shout out to Copeside Phil who says, Those peasants flipping burgers disgust Phil. I unironically think that he, he like, feels disgust from those people. Especially if they're, like, immigrants. Especially those people that bring him the food. Uh, mute the mic and go use the bathroom. Be right back, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Okay, he's Let gone. He's back. Oh, do we have the Zelda? Oh, no, it's not Zelda today. It's just sweatpants. Ah, come on. Help! I used the pause feature on recording because that was a rip-roaring, rousing time. Let me tell you. But I feel much, much better now. Uh, Han Solo, I did not use the pause feature on recording because... I had officially split the part regardless. If I had used the restroom in the middle of a part as an emergency, then I'm going to try Emergency that. restroom. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder, but we didn't have to use <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yeah. So he figured out that you can pause a recording in OBS and then, you know, continue recording it at some point. And I, I, that's, it's a thing now, I guess. But, I mean, it's, it's nothing. It's not even worth mentioning. It's so irrelevant and insignificant. Oh, man. That was bad. I, someone, I, I, someone had to throw a uh, lifesaver into the toilet to get. Somebody needs to throw you some money for a hair transplant, my guy. What is happening here? What? This shocks me. Look at this. It's an axe wound. Who stole your fade, man? What is happening here? God damn! Look at that. <laughs> oh man. If I go like this, I'm just going bald, man. I'm going to have to swallow it. Get me. <laughs> wow. All right. So, guys, we uh, are going to do another, at least another hour, maybe a little bit extra tonight. We'll see. I want to see if we're, what the logical stopping point is. I want to see how far we can get. All right. So, thanks for hanging out. Again, guys, please support the stream tonight if you can. <laughs> Please ignore at it. this point, at this point, immediately as he starts saying please and then proceeds to beg, it's just instantly funny to me. I know he's not saying anything funny. It just makes me laugh somehow. It's like an instinct. Maybe it's a defense mechanism. Maybe it's in the chat who are talking about contributions because they're trolls. They're literally in here with their million stock accounts trying to do that. Just don't listen to them trying to derail. But if you could support the stream tonight in any way, I would really appreciate that. Uh, thanks in advance. And uh, I got another dollar tip. The same person talking about poopies and farts, and I'm not going to keep reading that because it's stupid and disgusting. So thanks for the dollar tip. Yeah, but I'm not read out any more yeah, but, like that. So you but can wait, it now if you want. But wait, is the, I mean, this is the guy that his like half of his catalog of jokes revolve around diarrhea and pooping and farting and eating your own shit or stuff like that. And his latest stream meme is people eating actual shit out of his ass with a spoon. Okay. All right. So, I mean, come on. This is like the energy you give out. So, that's the energy you attract. So, you, you give out poopy farts. You attract poopy farts. You and your poopies and farts. Good for you. Okay. Boy. Yeah, so far, no one's beaten Mulch, man. That $3 tip is the top contribution of the night. Oh, man. Dark Gaming says you're going to be tough to beat. I played it regularly. Oh, I'm well aware. I'm well aware. But, I mean, keep in mind, as, as much fun as we have together when I play this game... Take a look at the levels of support it gets. Almost none. You know, the first couple weeks I played it, it did all right. And then it just dropped right off. It's like, I can't play this as much as other games. I have to balance this with other stuff to make up for it. For these nights when, when you know, the support go. is so low. I just It's just matter of fact, cause and effect, you know? I wish it wasn't like that, but that's life. Read the, if it says it won't send your tip on PayPal, it's your fault and your end, not mine. My PayPal works. Several people have tipped me tonight. Oh, and now, uh, now we're doing the meme of PayPal not working. This is one of my favorite memes. When people are trying to get them. And it, it has worked very efficiently in the past. Nowadays, not so much. 
Beta Bulgar Meerkat worked in warehouse where Macedonian stacked his spare cash and unicorn. <laughs> Get on Macedonian level, son. No, bro, they were uh, they were Polish. There was so many Polish people there. There was one shift that was entirely just Polish people. And you, you don't want to be on that shift. Because those people, they have like the most violent lunch break you've ever seen. You've never seen people want to eat so much within the span of like 15 minutes. It's 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 life-changing experience. You. Lilica says, glad you're enjoying the game and you're not relying on support on if you're going to continue to play or not. Exactly. If I... Dude, are you kidding me? If that were the case, I would have had to drop this like a month ago. It only it only basically got any support the first week and that was it. So, whatever. I like I love the series. I'm going to play it, man. Oof. Yeah, if you guys could uh, stop causing drama in the chat, that'd be great. <laughs> What are they doing now? I'm just gonna time them out. I'm not gonna even argue or bother addressing it. I'm just gonna time people out. <laughs> They're not gonna waste time on it. Oh, my eye is burning right now. Ah, my eye. Ah. Oh, it would be really nice if we could put on some some kind of glasses, you guys. I don't know, some kind of glasses. I wonder what kind of glasses I can put on right now. It's ah, my eye. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, I wanna I wanna get the the frame on this one. Maybe I can use it for some kind of an edit or something. Oh, my eye is burning right now. Ah, my it's eye. like really unfunny. I can't see. Ah, my eye. Ah. Yep, this one. Um, every face he makes gets funnier when you notice that he has a big toilet seat around his neck. Ah, every ah. single one. Ah. <laughs> I swore I saw something. I'm glad you saw it, Namba, because I couldn't see it because my eyes all fucked up. Oh, look what we got. Rare dude. All right. Time to start getting rid of idiots. There you go. Do this moron. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop getting rid of them. They did nothing wrong. And Lizard Man, too. Get rid of two idiots. <laughs> the two idiots. <laughs> okay. Get rid of two dummies. Strong. And what I think we're going to do, bear with me, is... I think what we should do is go to as far as we can in the story and then decide what side content we want to do at the end. So I think we should like just keep doing story chapter 10. This game is 14 chapters. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Tonight, actually. Thank you for watching. Good problem. And now we're going to get the unrecorded pity because this is like $12 in tips, man. And the top tip is still like three. We focus as we try to get through and beat the game. And, uh, I so that was a, a super poverty moment. Support the stream tonight. Also, thank you so very much. I will see you all next time for Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I have no idea what you guys are even talking about. You're like you switch between your items and storage. What? What? Well, where do you see where do you see a item box storage? I don't even know where that is. <laughs> yeah, and instantly, instantly mask off. Like the moment he stops the recording, he's in a bad mood. It's not here, so how can I check that? Right? Like, we're not even pretending anymore. We're not even pretending. How can I check that? Guys, to those of you who are going to miss me tomorrow, but I promise you I'm going to miss him so Friday, much. And Friday will be a full day of the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. All right? Should be great for those who like fun multiplayer experiences, for those who like Star Wars. Like, this game is significantly better than the, st the ones they attempted to make in the 2010s where they tried to get that magic back and they failed miserably. You know, they, they had the stupid leveling system and microtransactions and stuff, and it was terrible. This game is, this, you have to understand, it's like way better. Hey, big ups uh, Red no, for I the membership. You'll come by Friday. And, uh, and big ups King be Cruel for the membership really as well. All day long in that multiplayer. It's going to be really good. And uh, <clears throat> then we get back to the RPG stuff. Come on, we don't have a big? Time. I think we're going to have on the daily wrap. Oh, yeah, we got some daily rap crap have right good, here. Uh, Thursday. Everyone, please have a good, safe Thursday away. I'll be back Friday with more fun stuff for all you guys, okay? Great week, and I I'm very happy. <laughs> He's yeah. very happy. Uh, can't you tell how happy he is? We will be now <laughs> playing other games. But, you know, Battlefront is... Oh, but this is just... Oh, yeah, this is the daily rap thing. Man, I, I hate how... How much he needs to make his own work as complicated, as unnecessarily complicated as possible. Just to pretend like he's doing more than what he's actually doing. And the results are not there. Like, it, it, it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't have a good payoff. So why even bother? 
after that Rise of the Ronin. It's not. Why are we even doing the daily wrap? Is it a successful series? Are people actually enjoying it? Uh, or it just exists because it takes him like five minutes to make. And every once in a while, he gets a dollar extra off an ad. Not just RPGs anymore. So now people can get variety. No, we didn't even get a daily wrap situation thing. So I guess I'm going to go now so I can get something quick to eat for dinner. And then we jump right into the Chiking. Uh, so I'll have to be there a little bit early so we can do some sound checks and all other stuff. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. We did a quick recap of, I guess, the, the few things that have happened. And I'll be back maybe, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, maybe Sunday. We'll see how things work out. Thanks, everyone. Peace out. And most importantly, Yong out.